Entertainment Service of Radio Trans International. A very good morning. If you're just joining us, welcome to Paris Live. It's Tuesday the 3rd of April. I'm Brian Eads. The headlines. Winnie Mandela, the former wife of South African anti-apartheid leader Nelson Mandela, has died at the age of 81 in a hospital. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu suspends an arrangement to resettle African migrants who were faced with deportation just hours after his office announced an agreement with the UN Refugee Agency. And rail users here in France are facing travel chaos at the start of a nationwide strike by train drivers and other employees of the state and operator SNCF. Coming up in the next half hour, William Neva series of sport and his look at the African news circuit, so don't go away. Queen Mandela, the former wife of South African anti apartheid leader Nelson Mandela, died yesterday at the age of 81 in a Johannesburg hospital. Her family said she fought valiantly against the apartheid state and that she was owned far and wide as the mother of the nation. South African President Sir Raoposa paid tribute to her, saying that Mandela's former wife was a voice of defiance against white minority rule. The partner of this heroine of our struggle let us reflect on her rich remarkable and meaningful life let us draw inspiration from the struggles that she fought and the dream of a better society to which she dedicated her entire life today we have lost a mother a grandmother a friend a comrade a leader and an icon